On the road from Coatbridge to Airdrie, we're at the off-licence run by Mo Khan and his family for a busy Friday night. <laughs> Not just any Friday, the last Friday of cheap shop-bought booze in Scotland. Friday night? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, Steaming, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Steaming? Steaming? Right. Yeah? What have you so, cried? babysitter. Mm. Just going to go home, I and chill, get a couple of drinks and mm. hopefully get a long way. <laughs> <laughs> and not everyone knows yet the prices are going up. How much do you get this for today? 350, 350. So that's going to be a fine Mo and his customers, some of them, are about to become unwitting participants in an unprecedented okay. national experiment that the government says will save lives. In a world's first, alcohol will have a minimum price, 50p per unit. A three-litre bottle of strong cider here will almost triple in price. A one-litre bottle of vodka will cost less than a pound more, but a bottle of wine for a fiver will stay the same. Now, this bottle of cider costs just four pounds, and there are more units of alcohol in here then it's recommended you drink in an entire week. And this is the end of the market that minimum pricing wants to affect. But it will only work if enough people who come in here to buy these and similar drinks cut down considerably, rather than simply moving on to drink something else. What do you want? Over the course of this Friday night, we meet people already prepared to pay more than the minimum. Thank you. What is this? Dragon soup. June is drinking a new breed of Alcopop. Four units. It's quite strong. If you really like it, then you'll just pay for it. Mm. Do you know what this is? <laughs> uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's vodka, rum and, and orange juice. And so is Sean. It doesn't put you off that this is this strong. Really? Huh? Yeah. yeah, but people like to unwind on the weekend. If they want to drink, let them drink. It's not up to them, but they want to put in their body or that. These drinks are high in alcohol, but they're also high in price. And June and Sean are not the drinkers minimum pricing is targeting. Billy is. He's an alcoholic, and he's buying one pound cans of super strength cider. Why, why do you buy this? If it's the cheapest. That will soon double in price. We'll get a drink for somewhere. We're alcoholics, we're not going to change. Mm. So we're going to find a drink in it. If it means we need to pay £2 for a can of CD, a pound, we'll get it for somewhere. Billy lives in one of Scotland's most deprived communities. Will he get better or will he get poorer? A key question for minimum pricing is whether it unfairly penalises the worst off. We asked Nicola Sturgeon when she last spent under 50p per unit. I tend to drink wine when, when I drink at all um, and you know the wine I will drink will tend, as will be the case for most moderate drinkers, will be above the 50 pence per unit uh, level. I just wonder if, if first of all you accept that lower income earners drink the same amount as middle and high income earners, there's no discrepancy the, there. Well, you, you're, you're talking in generalities here. Problem drinkers are the drinkers that will be most impacted by minimum pricing. This is a carefully thought out policy. It's one with evidence behind it. And most importantly, it's one that is going to reduce deaths from alcohol and reduce the damage that alcohol does. Why do you drink, Billy? I don't know. I really don't know. It's just, it's a habit. It's stuck in my system. And it's never going to go away. And I've got to the stage now where that's me. What's it done to your life? Wrecked it. That's absolutely wrecked it. Today, the experiment begins. Will customers move online? Will they buy bootleg booze? Or will they change a habit of a lifetime? Either way, in Scotland's shops, the curtain has come down on super cheap booze. Kieran Jenkins, Channel 4 News, near Airdrie.